as you can see, I have a very sad monster right here. I originally thought that this was fertilizer damage, but then upon further inspection, I slowly realized that I had thrips. So this is going to be me showing you what I do to try and get rid of the thrips. It is an ongoing investigation. Okay, so this is the quarantine zone. Everybody has been sprayed down with these oils and rinsed. So we got the Adansonii, Brazil, Monstera, Brazil, uh, can't even see back there, uh, Bird of Paradise. And we have another Brazil and a regular heart leaf. Philodendron. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. This is day one. Um, I didn't get like a super good look at how everybody looks right now, like video wise. Um, pretty much everyone's doing all right. This Monstera definitely has some yellowing leaves, like you can see on the back, which I thought was just fertilizer burn but no um this guy's lost some leaves this guy's pretty fine like he did have some sad leaves but he's had this for a long 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 time and then like the new leaves were coming out really really pretty bird of paradise looks fine um the heart leaf definitely had some like lost a lot of leaves and then this brazil was losing a bunch of leaves too but i just thought it was because it was too hot but yeah, sad times. Okay, so I'm gonna go over everybody that has already been treated with a slightly damp paper towel. Just checking to see if I see anything. And probably also just cleaning the leaves too. I am so sad. But, and I'm probably gonna be like doing this to all of my plants for the next like while. <laughs> I'm so sad. Apparently thrips are like one of the harder ones to get rid of, so that's really annoying, but I'm determined to make this work. <laughs> yes, this is what I get for coasting. My plant care. Well, the good thing is I have, I saw one on the stem. It looks really, really sad and pathetic. So I could probably just, just cut that one off. Get rid of it. And I was just texting my best friend who is a plant bitch too. Um, and I think a couple of my Brazils Probably not the big, I don't know. I don't know if I can do the big boy, it might kill me. But the little Brazil and the little heart leaf, I'm just gonna get rid of because honestly, they're looking really sad anyways. And that's two less ones that can have something on them, you know? Like, the thing is, like, I can't tell if these are, like, 
the ribs or if it's like just big pieces of dust like some of some of the things because so yeah everybody got treated yesterday but do thrips live in the soil <laughs> Obviously, I'm still going to keep everybody quarantined in my bathroom, but that one's okay. Okay, I did see this in Brazil that I did see some on, but it was literally like not that many, but this new leaf looks bad, so I'm going to pluck that one off. You know what? I just chopped that new growth because it's kind of tiny anyways. And that one has one. Chop. Like I am just going to cut through because the last thing I need is for all of this to get all over my other plants. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a regular ant. Do regular ants kill thrips? That would be nice. I should get some like aphids. No way. Not aphids. Ladybugs. Nope. Just chopping. Because at this point I do not. was from Home Depot so <laughs> maybe that I don't even know which one would have brought them in funny how like a tiny little pest can just ruin your entire day. I'm just gonna chop that one because it looks sad anyways. <laughs> this is my life right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this to everybody. once and it was an allocation so I just like gave up <laughs> and said here you go you can have it and throw you away so this is really my first like big thrips or pest issue yeah. this Brazil because literally it looks sad anyway and I'm gonna get rid of this heart leaf because it also was not doing that great even though I just bought it not that long a few months ago but I can always get more Brazils and more heart leaves and I'm not like super attached to these ones so I'm gonna go toss these next <laughs> yeah, I'm going on Sarah, which 
the sleeve has a match. And you will just get a chocolate sleeve. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> so freaking mad. But like, I didn't see any. I just see them on the leaves, like I don't see them on the stems. So that's good. Alright, let's check out these other leaves. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay, so you guys can see what I'm seeing um, right there. See that little moving speck right there? <laughs> Right there. Oh gosh. Okay. This is an old leaf too, so maybe I'll just chop that one too. We're like full blown going aggressive with this because I am sick of it. Yeah. Okay. Let some oil. I'm not gonna try and chop off every leaf. But you get these guys off. Okay, let's check. It's like you literally need like <laughs> my toilet in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> But you literally like need freaking magnifying glass to see some of these. Oops. Gosh, this poor leaves. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one has a lot. I'm just gonna chop it. Can you see them? See them, but there's a lot. Oh, God. <laughs> oh well, I bought this from Trader Joe's. The sleeve goes back. God damn it. It's a new sleeve, too. Can I just toss this? Can I just toss this one instead? Oh, my God. <gasps> it's so pretty, but yeah, it's definitely covered in thrips. Covered. Like this one is probably the second worst one. I can always just buy another one there. From Trader Joe's for ten dollars. Okay, well, this is pretty much just turning into I'm throwing away everything. I mean, those first two I think can be saved because I don't want to get rid of that added Sonia. But I think I decided. That monstera is probably gonna go. Let's see, let's look at this bird of paradise. It's not like, there's like two. This thing is already just ugly. Let's just get rid of him. <laughs> I'm just cut through right now. I'm like, you don't look that good. You're going by because it's more bait. <laughs> I've been like checking my other plants, but like 
definitely could use a more thorough check, you know? I'm so sad. I watched my entire plant collection just goes up in flames because of thrips. I think I tend to like the undersized leaves more. I think I'm more like frustrated than getting more I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna throw away my little stare. This guy too, he does need water, so I could probably do in the shower too. After I like wipe every leaf down too. Coming into this horrible world of sadness. Alright. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sad. Look at this. Why would I want to get rid of that? It's so beautiful, but it's covered. Okay, let me. I haven't gotten a chance to look at my giant. Beautiful bit myself, but the other thing is this is on a moss pool, and like I feel like that's just a recipe for disaster. As far as thrips goes, and there's way more leaves. Like. Can I even tell that like I thought that this was fertilizer damage? What the? Freaking freak! That looks like it might be a couple spider mites on that one. It's like a couple little red. One thrift. Two, three more. Yeah, see, like this one, there's just so many leaves, it's gonna be like so hard to look at and pull every one and make sure everybody's clean. So maybe I'll just keep doing what I'm doing for this guy. Just keep him away from Monstera. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go check on some of my other plants right now. And see if anyone else has caught, in, caught the disease. <laughs> so sad. Maybe like a week of dealing with thrips. So I am gonna update you at least on a couple. This is the wide format insonii. 
not doing great as you can see so i'm going to cut off some of the leaves that are dying because that's less things that the thrips can eat um the good news is about this even though it's terribly terribly sad and i'm like extremely overwhelmed and annoyed about all of this the good news is that let's see wait no it was in there okay there is new growth on this plant so i'm hoping that as long as i keep this you know keep these thrips there we are who's up thrips okay it's like so hard to tell that's the problem i think that's just damage but um i'm thinking as long as i can keep them at bay then you know this plant is not a total goner it's just really really hard when i keep finding them on other uh, new plants and i'm running out of space in my bathroom it's just really really hard to keep like positive you know so i am frustrated to say the least <sighs> but i'm trying to remain positive <clears throat> it's just really really sad but yeah so uh, like i said i'm running out of room in my bathroom for all these plants to like keep them separated so i'm thinking i might have to turn like half of my room into safe plants and half my room into unsafe plants because like i just i can't even like use my bathroom right now <gasps> that's the infuriating thing and then maybe only keep the like super super bad ones in here and then just like yeah i don't know i'm so annoyed <laughs> but at least this guy seems to be doing all right like i said we just lost some leaves so there's that um red emerald was found with um thrips on there so we're gonna give him another like i already sprayed him with my spray, I'm just going to clean the leaves. Literally, I'm just like cleaning everybody's leaves like crazy in hopes that I can maybe save my oh, guys. I'm just gonna keep repeating how frustrated I am. But yeah, so this one's not too bad. The burl marks, the big burl marks has thrips. Not like crazy, but I definitely found some. Honestly, I should probably take him outside and Every single leaf gotta work. Okay, maybe I'll do a time lapse of that. Okay, this is 
really, really too much. Too much, too much, too much. So we're chopping off some sad looking leaves that I think were the ones that were mainly affected. Because you can kind of tell when they had some damage. We're just gonna try and start the fresh start. <laughs> okay, you can see, like, okay, it's not really showing up on video, but like, look how sad that looks. Oh my god, it's freaking hot in my bathroom. I just took a shower too, so it's like... Okay. So... This guy's like, not super bad. So I'm not going to... I do need to water him probably. I might have to water him while I'm right here, but um... <sighs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to turn half of my room into thrip the thrip zone <laughs> because like what this is like this is my floor this is like where my toilet is like it's just too crowded for me to do anything in here and I'm pretty sure my Mikins has them. My newest Mikins. It's really big. I haven't found them anywhere else yet. Knock on wood. <clears throat> but this is exhausting. I'm literally about to just like, I don't know, do hope do like ladybugs eat thrips because I'm about to just set a bunch of ladybugs loose in my room. <sighs> it's really, really sad. I'm really, really overwhelmed. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna, sh I'm checking out my other monstera next because I know it's doing really bad and I might just chop all the leaves off, honestly. I might. <clears throat> I found a thrip on my baby squammy. So I just sprayed him, oh, I cut off the leaf that I found it on because kind of how I am like, really just like i mean i'm checking all my plants but kind of like the red flags of like oh check this extra extra close is when a leaf kind of starts to like turn a little yellow and yeah so that was the one that i found him on so i sprayed him down i am running out of this so i'm probably just gonna make my own i think it's like what is it dish soap water and like something else i can't remember when i actually make it i'll show you guys um so i'm gonna just start using that because apparently dish soap kills them and this has some um natural soap in it um this is just like such an overwhelming <laughs> it's so overwhelming i just don't know and i'm like really trying hard not to let my other plants get it but it's like they just slowly do and yeah, like I said, my bathroom is my quarantine space. So I'm just keeping everybody in here. I still have yet to like go back over <laughs> these big guys. It's just like a lot, it's freaking a lot. And I'm like so overwhelmed. So I just sprayed this Glory, Gloriosum. Um, I don't know what that was. I hope that was not a thrip on the stem. I'm like, oh, I think it was just a piece of dirt. But yeah, bro, like literally it's just sending me, man. This is making me want to just like throw everybody away and start over. But I'm not going to do that because it's st stupid. I shouldn't let pests get me down this much but <laughs> it's really really exhausting and like yeah I made it all this like 
I've had plants, been collecting plants for like five years now maybe. And I've only ever had to deal with spider mites once and it was a, an alocasia, of course. I don't, I don't keep alocasia anymore just because like they don't do well in my care. I've had a couple, I think. But anyways, my first alocasia got attacked by spider mites and that's literally the only other pests I've had to deal with other than like fungus gnats, but those don't destroy anything, you know? I just kind of deal with them, but, and I don't really have them bad at all. Like I have a couple in my room at all, at all times. <laughs> That sounds creepy, but um, I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I'm trying my best to keep up with this and like prevent the spread. I'm trying, but um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Just slowly. What else? I, there was another one I found. I don't know. I don't know what I've told you guys anymore. But I think we're doing I think we're doing all right. Oh, the other thing I will show you. Since I have you here. Um my monstera that I chopped all the way back. Look at I think look how sad it looks, but a new leaf. Look at that. Um yeah, the only leaf left on here is this guy and I don't I think he's safe pretty sure so I've like tossed around the idea of like chopping this up did you freaking look at that spider eee, I'm shaking you around Mr. Spider but um I don't know I'm not sure yet but this little leaf gives me some hope and makes me not as sad <laughs> still sad but not terribly sad I guess Plants are resilient, I can get through this. So yeah. <laughs> um, this guy, Bond Inspection, is doing pretty good. Obviously, like, these were old leaves anyways, so they're kinda dying. But, I just look, and I don't think we have thrips right now. And we have a new leaf leaf coming out uh, obviously the new leaves is that one right there no I don't think so I think it was just dust stuck in the crack but obviously the new leaves are gonna be a little bit sad but at least we got one 